Regarde, une picture avec moi. On est pareil. <laughs> My son. <laughs> The name of your mother. <laughs> hey, I'm DJ Barbecue, and I'm a grilling fanatic. Hellman's have sent me around the world to convince four non-grillers that food cooked over fire is the future. <gasps> Join our journey in finding Grilltopia. This is Sammy, the world's most uninspired burger flipper. How fancy do I go with burgering? Pays the bills, that's all it is. To help Sammy fall back in love with burgers, I've brought him to Paris, the culinary capital of the world. As far as me and food and Paris go, I don't see us working. That's a whole different world. Our first stop is a unique burger joint in a classic Parisian market. What you do in London, these guys do similar, but about a million times better. Fast but slow food or slow but fast food. The point of, uh, of our burgers that we, we cook the bread ourselves. Yeah. Who really makes their own bread every day? The meat is fresh from every morning. It's almost uh, straight from the slaughterhouse. When he asked me, where do you get your meat from? Well, the freezer. They raise the cows, they live a longer life. Happy cows. It's all got traceability, it's all got provenance. So this is next level. Koala. I never thought you could just play with burgers just the same way these guys are doing. A good burger is like a story. You have to have a good beginning, a good middle, and a good end. You start with one ingredient and you try to rock around it. This cheese is one of the oldest cheeses. It took him about a year to find it. The Fum d'Ambert. That's the lead singer of the band. You have to respect it. But there's more to a burger. A burger is not just a slab of meat in the middle. My meat, I'm sure, comes from a good source. 1,000 cows. <laughs> I mean, you can't compare the stuff I make to the stuff they make. And it's, it's really awesome. Now I want to show Sammy that you don't need beef to make a burger. We wanted to offer a really uh, tasty and quality vegetarian and vegan burger. Here, uh, the patties are made with mostly uh, tofu. No way would I ever go and order a veggie burger. If you don't try, you don't know. These ones are really tasty because there is rice, which is making the texture close to, to meat. Uh, veggie burgers usually, for me, is just, it's got little bits of peas and like this mashed potato circle. All right, I'm going in. You know what it tastes like? Summertime. Lord have mercy, <laughs> my stars. That is a tasty burger there, Sammy. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go vegan. So Sammy, have you ever had like a really high-end burger? In a nutshell, no. <laughs> we use only fresh ingredients. We don't use any frozen foods. I thought cows were frozen for a little while, so. Right. <laughs> is this man going to be cutting the meat? Yeah, he is. Of course. You show me once, I could do it. Am I getting paid for this? No. I've never tried camembert. Go for it, dude. I'm in France, right? So do you eat the outside as well? It's mold? Cheese is mold. Yeah. It's weird. Crazy compared to the burgers that okay. Sammy so was flipping. To, to put the, okay. Good work. I made a real burger. So how does that compare? to what you've been flipping. If this is a burger, I don't make burgers. I wasn't expecting this. I mean, they took something simple, humble, meat, bun, bun, and then they just went and ran with it. So Paris, overall, good experience? Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Breathtaking. I was blown out of the water by the different tastes and flavors and everything. What are you gonna take back home? Officially would like to start again. I wanna know where I'm getting my bread from. I wanna know where I'm getting the meat from. Hopefully after this experience in Paris, you're gonna be serving me a next level burger, or somewhere even better than what we had here in Paris. That's a deal. All right, bring it my friend. <laughs>